Hello and welcome to the show. I am playing War Thunder. This was suggested by Crazy73. I think I got your name right. Uh, in the in the World of Tanks video, he said I should go check this game out. So I did, and well, it's awesome. Uh, if you imagine sort of World of Tanks made with planes, uh, and then there is a World of War planes being made at the moment. It's in beta or something, I think, at the moment. Um, but this is free, and I, I could download it and didn't have to fill out a blooming form. So yes, I'm playing. A War Thunder. This is a World War II fightery planey kind of simulated, but it's more, sort of more arcadey as well. Uh, it's just some World War II planes, and you go around shooting each other, and it's awesome. The, the planes are so nice to fly. You can sort of mess about, and it's it's not. I, I shouldn't have said simulator, should I? Uh, it's not a simulator. It's sort of an arc. It, I wouldn't say it's too arcadey, but it's a bit of a flight sort of messer aboutery game. Uh, it's it's a really quite a fun game. Uh, I, I'm going to say now that I know very, very little about planes. Uh, so I will say the wrong thing about probably planes at some point. Uh, I'm flying a Spitfire because I'm English and Spitfires are awesome. Uh, that's about the only plane name I recognise. Uh, Spitfire and Hurricane. And that's it. And <laughs> I'm done after that much. So yes, there, there's many names over there. You can see of enemy planes. I have no idea what any of them are. I'm just going to shoot at the names that are in red. Uh, so yes, th there are a couple of game modes. This is very, very similar to World of Tank, to be honest, uh, in the way it's, in the way it works, and also in the way sort of all the stuff researches. And uh, oh, that's not gone well because I just clicked off my screen and it's all gone wrong. Uh, can I rescue you without? Uh oh, no, I can't. And um, I'm trying to sort of oh, come back, screen border. This is going to look really weird on the video, and I apologise. Okay, so apparently. Uh, that doesn't work very well. So uh, I haven't experimented with recording this before. So yeah, uh, that didn't work quite as well as I'd planned. Uh, shoot at the plane! Oh, I've got a hit in there. Damn, that was lucky. Oh, 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 dear. That nearly went wrong. Uh, so yes, I'm not really sure what's going on here. There's airfields that we're supposed to capture, and there are enemy planes. Oh, I shot your wing off. Bye bye. Uh, there are enemy planes you're supposed to shoot down. Basically, there are points you're meant to capture in this game mode. This is as far as I understand it. There are airfields you are meant to capture. Nobody pays any attention, everybody shoots at each other in the air, and occasionally you go and bomb the enemy ground units. That, that pretty much sums up this game, but that's what's brilliant about it, it's just so much fun. The, the flight, the planes are so easy to sort of just fly about. You can have brilliant, brilliant dogfights. It's, it's really very, very good. I'm chasing down you, a BB-1. Yes, I'm really not aiming very well. There we go, that's more like it. I'll just try and get something on target. Yes, there's a hit. And, uh, come on, die. Die, are we going to... Yes! Wow, I'm having a good game. Uh oh, uh oh, bullets, bullets! Abort, abort! So, yes, the, the objective is something to do with landing on airfields and then you can capture stuff, and someone nearly bombed me. Uh, there are also ground units to take out. Uh, I, all of ours are being destroyed. You, you take out ground units, and I think it helps you win in this game mode. Other game modes are all about taking out the ground units. But really, everybody just dogfights, because that's, that's where this game is best at. Taking out the ground units is alright. It's just not as exciting as trying to shoot down an enemy plane. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, so yes, this is this is all completely free, I think. Uh, I, I recommend you go check it out. Uh, oh, no, not again. Don't tell me high CPU. You should go away. I, in fact, is that even this game? I don't know. Uh, okay. My computer is being weird, as per normal. There's a lot of red names over there. Do I want... I probably don't. Can I run away? If in doubt, run away and carry in the corner. And there's lots of... Is there anywhere there's not red... I'm just going to go around in a circle. I'm quite safe here. Everything's like two kilometres away. Let's just go around in a circle and try and not get shot to pieces. Uh, friendlies! Help! Save me! I'm going to get chased in a minute. <laughs> so yes, there are lots of cool features on this. I like... Let's see if I can do this right. If I do this, and then we're going to go down, down, and come on. Go, go down. Um, ooh, no. Not, maybe not quite that much. I'm trying to show you the G4C thing. But it's gone. It was that you saw it a little bit earlier. If you were paying attention, which you probably weren't, um, when you sort of go above a certain amount of G-force, the screen goes like black. And I think if you keep pulling ridiculous G-forces, whoa, that was close. Ugh, my ally nearly flew into me. If you keep pulling ridiculous G-forces, oh wow, I'm on a kill streak. Woo! Um, anyway, if you keep pulling ridiculous G-forces, I think you can like pass out, and it, or your screen goes black, and you don't know what's going on. I have been known to crash before doing that, um, which is not huge amounts of fun. <laughs> yes, uh, it's just like little details like that that I really like. The levels, I have to say, are really quite good. The, there's a sort of a good variety. Uh, this one, I, I quite like this, this sort of a snowy level. Pretty straightforward one, it's fairly flat. 
but there are some that are sort of like really really hilly there's even one where there's like two islands and you're sort of flying between islands it's, it's really quite cool the graphics are actually pretty impressive normally on your sort of flightery games the ground looks like a sort of a picture from Google Earth uh, but this one here actually looks quite good uh, it's 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 not a picture from Google Earth there's actually land there are occasionally buildings on some of the levels that are I wouldn't say detailed, but they, they look quite realistic. Come on, I'm going to take you down, bomber. I'm going to take you down. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, go, everybody's crisscrossing. Can I get reload mana? There we go. Come on. Just die. And shoot the back of him. Where are you going? You're going to... I don't know what this player is doing. Come on. Just die. I think I may have... Have I killed him? I think he has. He's going... Yep, he's gone. Oh, someone else shot him down. Damn it, someone stole my kill. Uh, so, yes, what, what am I going to talk about next? I don't even know. I'm waffling a little bit. Ah, <laughs> um, oh yes, the, the sort of the damage on the planes. Oh, someone burst into flame. That was quite a good time. Oh, you took each other out, have you? That was quite a good time to sort of spontaneously combust. Or oh, it probably helped by bullets somewhere along the line. <laughs> um, yes, the, the damage on here is actually quite cool. Um, depending on where you get shot on your plane will affect different things. So, you can get shot in the wing, and then you can have like a broken wing, and your plane will sort of be flying along like this. I'm trying to show you, this is quite tricky to actually get to do this. I had a game earlier, which I the recording crashed on, which is a real shame, where I was flying a plane for like five minutes that was basically like this the whole time. It was quite interesting. I actually got a double kill with it as well, which really surprised me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. You can also have like the tail fin sort of bit shot out, and... Whoa! Where did you come from? Come back. I'm going to shoot you now. Well, how did you not... Come on. Come on. Oh, well, I'm shooting on the Spitfire. Never mind. Go down. <laughs> so, yes. Um, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, can I slow... Uh-oh. 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 Uh, I think he's going to... No, I don't know where he's gone. Ah, uh, no. Can't find him now. <laughs> um, yes. The damage is very, very cool on here. Uh, one thing... I wouldn't say this is a slight downside, but this is kind of inevitable. Uh, as you are sort of dogfighting or whatever, you will... You can, anyway, end up ramming into each other, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, if, if two planes collide midair, they are both broken and nobody gets any kills, you're just both destroyed. Um, of course, that's, that's kind of understandable, you know, if you were to fly two planes into each other, ooh, yeah, I didn't want to demonstrate that, uh, they, they would be both destroyed. Uh, you can kind of end up sort of doing kamikaze missions, it's also actually surprisingly easy to end up accidentally doing it. I've now lost that Spitfire, there he is. Uh, because if you're, if you're sort of head on to somebody and you're both shooting, you end up playing a silly game of chicken. Uh, who, well, I would like to make a count with this idea of a game of chicken because it's the most pointless, stupid game in the world. Because, yeah, on, especially on sort of on an, on a on a game, nobody backs out because yeah, everybody just ends up having head-on collisions, which is silly. Uh, so I try and avoid, but <laughs> some people are just stupid on here. Uh, and there are occasional times where you'll accidentally fly into each other. But chicken is a very stupid game to play. Uh, it, it just it sort of in general. I think I've got somebody following. The radar is really quite pointless on here. I can see it sort of, kind of trying to tell me what's going on. I think that I have something following me, but I don't really know. And I don't know where that plane is just sort of wandered off. So let's leave in the battlefield. Let's go over here. There we go. So there, that's the G-Force you thing. Like that. There we go. I, I showed you that bit now. Uh, so yes, collisions can be a little bit annoying, but it kind of happens. A lot of people sort of really go moany, moany, moany in the chat on here. And, you know, it happens most of the time it's accidental. Sometimes if I fly my flame, my plane is sort of on fire and dead. I may fly into, like, a bomber just to sort of, well, my plane's going to die anyway, so I might as well take the bomber with you. Um, and I guess that can be kind of annoying to people, but, you know, you're, if your plane's dead, well, why not? Um, so, yeah, there's a little bit a slight of a downside, I guess. But, in general, this game works really, really well. And oh, I think someone else stole that kill. Right, I'm coming after you, a PE3. I don't know what you are. Let's shoot at you, shoot at you, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you're on fire, there we go, woohoo, I'm having, uh oh, I'm getting shot at now, uh, no, go away, alright, I'm going to try my tactic, this is how I tend to lose people, sometimes it works, it doesn't always though, so, here we go, and up, and then, out of the throttle, and, around, has it worked, I've lost them, where are they, ah, it works, there we go, I found you again, oh no, <laughs> my plane just disintegrated. Oh dear. Come on. We can land it. We can land it. I landed it. Yeah, in the floor. Kind of. Slightly a little bit in the floor there. Uh, help. Ah, <laughs> oh, so nearly landed it. Damn it. That was so close. Never mind. Um, yes, this is the, the sort of, like, I don't know, menu-y, loady screen. You get 
well, you start off with three planes. You can then you then move on to four planes, or you can add planes. It costs money up there, money. You earn money for winning matches and stuff. Uh, so you get sort of three lives per game. I think it's a little bit better than the sort of the world of tanks, one life and you're out. Uh, I, I like the the idea. You sort of get a few chances. You also get a chance to fly sort of different planes as well. Uh, there are a huge number of planes on here. I will point that out. It's just ridiculous numbers. Uh, I will show you when this game eventually ends. It, it looks like it's going to come to an end fairly soon. Ah no, go away, get out of B. Where's B? Over there somewhere. Uh, there are humongous amounts of planes to research. All different makes and versions of different planes. None of which I've ever heard of. I've heard of a Spitfire, a Hurricane, a MiG. Um, that's about it, really. <laughs> and there are jet planes. I haven't unlocked them. I haven't even seen any, I don't think. Uh, a, a slight, I wouldn't say a criticism, but a slight thing with this game is you can end up with people flying like sort of relatively high Spitfires and other planes against the sort of starter planes and that's a little bit unfair uh, you're, you're flying one of the beginning sort of biplanes and you'll get absolutely annihilated for the first few games until you unlock uh, something half decent because yeah they, they get like shot down so quickly by a relatively high level plane I haven't fought against any jets yet so I I assume that then there's there's some sort of system they have of putting them in a high Woohoo! See game of chicken. Dumb idea. Never works very well for anybody. I'm gonna try and rescue this guy. I'm probably gonna get myself shot down doing this because I think he has now been shot down. Uh oh! Uh oh, oh no. This was a dumb idea. Now I've got four fighters on me. But why do I not think things through? Ooh, abort! Abort, we're on fire. Can we can I do my emergency barrel no, barrel roll? Loop the loop! Emergency loop the loop! Uh oh, wing's gone, wing has gone, uh, bits are falling off. Okay, we're going to go for an emergency landing. You can land planes on here. I think if you land them on an airfield, you can... Oh, I just can't. You can land planes properly. If you land them on an airfield, you can actually get repaired. Uh, I'm running out of planes quite quickly now. Let's go for my other hurricane. I should have used the bomber first. Uh, <laughs> come on, game. Go, I want to go shoot people. If you land on airfields, you get repaired. It takes time, though. So normally, if you're getting shot down... Uh, you will never get to an airfield in time and if you do it takes like a minute and a half to repair you and then you're just like a sitting duck sat on the airstrip and someone will come and take you down or normally that's what happens anyway um, so yes I'm just trying to think of other stuff I know about this game um, I don't know <laughs> I'm running out of things now uh, but yeah it is it's a really very very fun fun game uh, I, I would love to see this game sort of combined with World of Tanks so you have people controlling the ground units that would be awesome if you could like choose if you want to you know, you'd be like a tank and you could like have to attack the bases while the planes above you are fighting that would look really well that would be such a cool game uh, and you could choose to have tanks or you could choose to have anti-aircraft like vehicle gun things and try and shoot down planes that, I just think that would be absolutely awesome when when you're in the, the sort of hangar menu there does look like there are tabs for uh, army and navy so I'm wondering if in future there are plans for this game to have something like that I think that would be absolutely incredible fun. Uh, and I think I just got another one. Yay! Well, I'm really glad this is the game that I'm recording. Because this is like the most kills I've had in a long time in a game. Ooh, ooh, go away, Kitty Hawk. And shoot! Didn't work. Uh, he's vanished. I think I'm in trouble, though, because there's, there's just loads of red names over there. Team! I'm just going to go over here. Over here's friendly. Hello! Help! Help! I don't want to die. I've only got a bomber left, and that's not really any good at this stage. <laughs> the bombers tend to be used to take out sort of your ground targets. Uh, I'm sure most of you will know about planes. Uh, and at this stage, all the ground targets are dead anyway. So the bomber's not a huge amount of point. I should have used it first. If I was thinking, I would have used it first, but I'd like Spitfires. Uh, let's face it, any English guy will have wanted to fly a Spitfire at some point. They're just awesome. Whoa! Yeah! Can you please not do that, everybody? Um, uh, no! Uh-oh! 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 Let's go around here and try and lose... Who's shooting at me? Oh, up there. Okay. We spin around. Oh, God, I'm surrounded. Okay, abort. Can I abort? Didn't, oh, they're too far away. I think I'm just going to have to fight for my life now. And hope I can kill them before I kill me. No, I don't think that's going to work either. I think I'm just going to end up getting killed. And I'm dead. No, I'm sort of now out of everything that's any good. And I don't know how I can shot me down. Um, oh, yeah, game modes. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about game modes. Uh, there, are, there are sort of a couple of different game modes. There's this one we're playing at the moment where you have to catch the airfields and I think this is like Domination or I can't remember the names of them. Names aren't really important. There's Capture the Airfield and there's Kill the Ground Units. Um, that's in the Arcade mode. There, there is then a Historical Battles mode. Um, basically, I don't really know quite how that works, but it's the same sort of game modes, only they're famous World War II battles. Uh, in them you only get one life, so once your plane's destroyed you're out. And you also don't get 
uh, unlimited ammo, you sort of have to fly out, you shoot, and once you run out of ammo, you have to then go back to base to re restock the ammo, I think, or it takes a very long time to reload ammo if you don't. So, yeah, that my game mode wasn't a huge amount of fun. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do now, because there's nothing to bomb at the moment. Maybe if I bomb the enemy airfield just for a laugh, uh, the one that... Woo! I don't think this... The <laughs> yeah, it's not the most realistic game. Look, I don't think this would work. I think bits would be falling off. Uh, like mostly like wings and stuff. If I open the gear upside down, are you going to? Nothing's going to break. Oh yeah, this is ultra realistic, everybody. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, there is a historical battley mode where you do you do famous World War Two battles. Uh, but it's, everybody just plays the arcade mode. The arcade mode is great fun. Your ammo, it's not unlimited. You will get to a stage where you have to reload, and reload takes about 18 seconds. It's quite annoying when you're in the middle of a dogfight and suddenly realise you've run out of ammo, and then you have to kind of run and hide for 20 seconds while it reloads. Well, you can't really hide. Uh, hiding would be quite impressive in the middle of the air. Maybe if you've got active camouflage, but that wasn't in World War II. That's not even now, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I, I swear I've, I've seen places where active camouflage is kind of sort of being uh, successful. Uh, then that doesn't include the Top Gear van thing that they had uh, on their James Bond especially thing. That, that wasn't proper active camouflage. I'm tempted to try and drop a bomb on this hurricane. Uh, I don't know if it will work. Ooh! Kind of shooting, no, wrong camera view. Ooh! Yeah, you can control the gunner on these as well, which is kind of cool. I'm probably going towards the ground now. Uh, oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, I don't, I'm not really much good as a bomber, because there's nothing to bomb. I'm going to have to try and land on these airfields. What are you doing, plane? You've fallen over. What was that? That was useless. Oh yeah, I can do a will it roll on here. Will the plane roll slowly? Yes, there it goes. Look, it rolled. Um, <laughs> uh, come on, gunner. You can you can shoot people while you're upside down. I don't have to take control of you. Who am I getting shot by? Oh, I'm getting shot by you. Ah, die! Die, 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 die! I'm going to die, I think, doing this. Come on, come on, kill the buffalo, kill the buffalo. Oh, it works! Yay! It's been a successful... Are you not dead yet? This has been a really successful game for air kills for me. Uh, I think we're going to lose the game. Oh, camera, come back. Um, but yeah, I've got loads and loads of kills. So, yeah, this game is is completely free. There are You can pay, you can buy your premium account, get more XP, and it's kind of a similar sort of system to World of Tanks. You can buy... There are certain planes that can only be unlocked with uh, real money, or whatever they call it on here. Eagles, I think it's called. Uh, it's a weird current system on here. Uh, but yes, you, you can buy extra planes and stuff, but you don't really need them. There are huge numbers of planes that don't actually need anything. I'm getting shot to shreds. Look at the mess of this plane. I'm gonna... Let's, can we go home now? I think I'm the last surviving member of my team. So no wonder I'm being shot to bits. Come on. Here we go! Oh god, look at this! I'm out of ammo! Oh no, I'm running out of fuel, I have no ammo, I can't seem to shoot... Oh, we're gone. Oh dear, bye bye! And... crash. Boom, there we go. That was a big explosion. And sadly we lost that game, and that's my plane. It is a mess. Oh, It was going so well. <laughs> uh, so yes, that is, that is War Thunder. Uh, it's. I really do suggest you go try it out. You can just Google it. You'll find it on the internet. Um, I spent quite a bit of time playing this. It's really quite a fun game. The planes are just so much fun to fly. They're just so easy. You can sort of just yeah mess about with them, and they are. It's really good fun in some of the dogfights. Some of the game modes are a little bit wonky, but you'll kind of get used to it. Uh, I'll just go show you this research thing. Okay, I, this is only the English planes. That is all the English planes to unlock. Uh, there's some jets over here, I think. I th I'm hoping they're jets. I'm hoping I'm not talking a load of bollocks, which is quite possible. Spitfires, uh, I like Spitfires, and the stuff. These are the ones that you have to pay real monies to get. Uh, it does doesn't really seem to be particularly important. And then you've got all your Russian planes, you've got all your German planes, and look at all these planes! There are so many planes to choose from. That one there looks quite interesting. It's a leopard plane! I did not know they actually existed. Wow. <laughs> Do they really fly with that sort of camouflage on? I guess, I, I don't know, I guess it probably doesn't look that stupid when it's in colour. It might not actually be a leopard colour. <laughs> and there's some American planes as well, which I don't know any of these. That one there looks quite cool though. I don't know what it is, but I want to fly it, but it's like the highest level one. It looks really cool. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, where's it gone? Japanese planes uh, as well. So yes, that is, well, that that's War Thunder. I, the games go on for quite a while, so I won't do another one. But yes, I really do suggest you go check it out. I've said this loads of times already in this video. Go get it, go play it. Uh, if you want to add me and you can play with me sometimes, occasionally, if I'm online, uh, send me an invite or whatever. Send me a friend's request, that's my, you know, my user rename. Uh, and then yeah, we'll, I will shoot some planes down with you, or I'll shoot against you. Who knows? 
Blooming heck, that costs a lot of money. That'll take forever to get. Um, yes, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me actually do relatively well. I'm really pleased I filmed that game. That's like the best I've done in ages. Uh, oh yeah, while I was thinking, yeah, this bit here, down here, that's why I'm thinking maybe, maybe in the future, they will have, there will be like player controlled ground units and boats and stuff, um, which I think would be, that would make it just an awesome, awesome war game. Uh, so yes, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.